Goats truly are the greatest of all time, this time for munching on weeds and invasive plant species at Riverside Park in Manhattan to protect the area's native vegetation. On Wednesday, 20 goats from Green Goats Farm in Rhinebeck, New York were dropped off at Riverside Park and started showering down immediately. Only four goats will stay there, Skittles, Eleanor, Beggy and Cheech, said Allison Ettinger along, Communications and Development Coordinator for Riverside Park Conservancy. The goats will likely stay in the park until August or early September. She said their presence in the area is an environmentally friendly way to remove invasive species, which have been an issue for a really long time. One of the most dire areas in the park is a steep slope in the 400-acre park, she said. It's very hard for a human hand to get in there and remove by and eat. Goats, eat pretty much anything and they can get right in there. They can traverse this really steep slope. Goats can eat porcelain berry, English ivy, mugwort, multiple or rose and poison ivy, she said. The official goats, Hawaii is giving away 700 pesky goats to try to save a historic park invasive species, see baby goats jumping and wearing sweaters, learn about water resources, invasive species it's the third year the goats have visited the park to help out as part of Manhattan's Good Hand program. They'll be in a small, dense area that covers a couple of blocks. It has hilly terrain, despite many people thinking Manhattan is a flat area. Goats can consume 25% of their own body weight in the vegetation in one day, she said. Invasive species are amphibians, plants, insects, fish, fungi, bacteria and seeds or eggs that are not native to an ecosystem and cause harm, according to the National Wildlife Federation. An invasive species does not have to come from another country, the organization said. These species cause harm by destroying or replacing native food sources, providing little to no food value for wildlife and even replacing diverse ecosystems. They can also carry disease and prevent native species from reproducing. That's where the goats of Godhan come in. They'll be plenty comfortable too, said the Conservancy. There's a tent area for them to take cover if need be, and Riverside Park Conservancy staff will work with about 70 volunteers to herd the goats back to their shelter every night, Ettinger DeLong said. They are also monitored early in the morning, throughout the day and at night, and there are professional horticulture and veterinarian staff members on standby to make sure they're safe.